Hello everybody, happy 2018 and welcome back to another Smart Car Electric Video episode. Okay, you can see I got the, the car up on jacks here, back tires off, and that's because I'm, I'm just putting on some new winter tires right now. I had some before, uh, but they were getting pretty bald in the back, so I went ahead and I picked up some new ones. So these guys are Continental Winter Contact. These are pretty much the best ones I could find at Canadian Tire. I was hoping to get a set of studded tires, but they don't make them in the uh, in this size. I'd have to step it up to about a 185. I think uh, those are made for the Mini. Anyway, these look like a real nice tire. Nice deep tread on them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw those on first, and then. Uh, We'll talk about some other things with the car. Just recently rolled over 40,000 kilometers, had a service recently, and uh, so we'll talk about that, we'll talk about battery life. Okay, hope you enjoy this one. Okay, so like I said, uh, the smart car just rolled over 40,000 kilometers, and the service light uh, comes on at an interval of every 20,000 kilometers on this vehicle, just so you take it in and uh, have the vehicle serviced. So I took it in when the light came on. I'll, I'll just show you what they went through. So I, I received the A service. Um, so the labor on it was uh, $240. So I guess that's about maybe an hour and a half or, or so of, of time they spent on it. They, uh, they topped up all my fluid levels, $8.37 for that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what they topped up because there's really not a lot on this vehicle. And then they, uh, they changed my air dryer. I'll show you about that in a minute. So that part there was um, $30.15. Uh, there was no recalls uh, when they checked it. And then, uh, yes, put vehicle on charge when work is complete and that was uh, complimentary. So they charged my vehicle up. So the whole total came to uh, $242.52. So that was for 20,000 kilometers of driving. The, the maintenance on this was, uh, was only $242. So that's not too bad. Okay, so let me, uh, let me show you what this air dryer thing is. So in the battery compartment, they have this thing uh, they call an air dryer. And what this is, it's like those little beads that you would get in your electronics that sucks the moisture out. And this is um, this should be changed on your Smart Electric every two years or 40,000 kilometers. So mine was up for servicing. Now if you can if you can see this, really it's just well, I'll try and it's just a bunch of beads in there, um, exactly like what you would find in those little packages you find in your electronics. So that's it. So $30. This is the only thing you have to change on your smart car every two years or 40,000 kilometers. Now I'll head on over to the car and I'll actually show you if you want to change this thing yourself. Uh, it's quite easy actually. I learned afterwards. But I'll show you where this thing's located so you can change it yourself. Okay, I still have the car up on jacks here so I can show you. So you crawl under on the, the passenger side up underneath here and Okay, you see this spot right here? This is on, see that? So this is your large battery area underneath the car. So right here on the passenger side, there's this little plug and it has, um, has one of those torque heads on it. So what you can do, if you have the right size uh, torque bit, you can get up in there, crank that thing right off, and then take your, your new cartridge and just pop that thing on in there. So I think next time this comes around for service, I think I'm just gonna buy this part and uh, and just do it myself. That seems pretty simple. Okay, well, now you guys know. Okay, there we go. Back on its wheels, off the jack stands. Got those new winter tires installed. 
can't wait to try these things out. Maybe we'll take it for a real rip around the block here in a minute and see how they work. Okay, let me show you a few other things that I've been doing to uh, help with winter driving. This is a pretty light car, even with the extra weight of the batteries. It's still just a bit under 2,000 pounds. I believe it's around 19,000. 19,000. 1,900, not 19,000. Around 1,900 some pounds. So what I've been doing is... Uh, I've been buying this black sandblasting material just for weight. So each one of these bags is uh, 50 pounds. So I have one right in the trunk area here. I have another one down here right behind the passenger seat. I have one behind my seat. And if we go around here, I have one right on the floor on the passenger side. So I've added 200 pounds of weight to this thing, plus the weight of me, about 165 pounds. So all this adds up just to help get a little bit more traction on those back tires. This thing has a tendency to uh, kick the back end out when you're in snow or ice. So to be honest, it's it's really not it's really not the best car for winter driving, but uh, I've been doing the best I can. All right. Wow, really gotta say these new tires are amazing. It's giving me a lot more traction, way more traction than I was ever given the other tires. The other ones are getting pretty worn down, but these, I can step on this and I can't even break them loose anymore on this road. And even on the snow, it's a lot harder to break them loose. With the old tires, they would just kick out all over the place. Here, I could just go full power on this. Oh. They're just hooking up. That's perfect. Okay, let's uh, finish this video off with a winter cold weather range report. So I just pulled this car out of my garage and the temperature's slowly dropping on the gauge here. That says it's minus nine. It's, it's a lot closer to um, minus 15 right now. So you can see the temperature's dropping on that. Okay, so it's reporting I have a range of 71 kilometers. I have a full charge. Now that range is just a guesstimate. So we're gonna drive to work. I'm going to set my heater on fan level one at 18 degrees, and I already have my seat heater on, and I'm gonna set the cruise at 80 kilometers an hour for the whole way. Okay, let's see how it does when we get there. Okay, just made it to work. Uh, let's check out how we did for battery usage. Okay, so uh, just a hair over 50%. Check it out here. So I traveled uh, about 32 kilometers. It's reporting I have 33 kilometers of range left. Temperature is sitting at minus 11, so it kind of fluctuated between minus 10, minus 15 on the way, but sitting at minus 11 right now so about a typical day I'd say for winter and then uh, what do we do here so 24.2 kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers that's that's pretty bad <laughs> it's not good okay so well now you know and as you can see there I have uh, 44,000 kilometers on this car it's a 2013 
Now it's hard to say if I'm using more battery because I have a lot more sandbags in it this year. Um, I've got new winter tires, so there's a lot more rolling resistance. Um, it's hard to say. It does seem like I've lost a little bit of range, though. I might venture a guess of around maybe 5% battery that I've lost. So, hard to say, though. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up, and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Alright, take care, folks.